I'm Rashana Baldwin, and this episode of Good in Chicago, we visit West Inglewood and we tour Wood Street Farm. And I'm Brendan Greeley, and I'll be talking about the greatest Inglewoodian of all time, Derek Rose. I'm Rashana Baldwin. Welcome to the episode of Good in Chicago. We're in West Inglewood, and I'm here with my dear buddy, Brendan Greeley. It's great to be here, Rashana. Look at this beautiful farm. Wow, this is amazing. So we're in West Inglewood. We're in West Inglewood at the Wood Street Farm. Uh, Growing Home is a nonprofit that started this beautiful farm some 10 years ago in the West Inglewood community on 58th and Wood. It's called Wood Street Urban. It's called Wood Street Urban Farm, right off 58th and Wood, mm -hmm. South Side of Chicago, West Inglewood. Yeah. And uh, they gave me a free T-shirt. I know. Cool this is, is the only, did you know, the only USDA certified farm in Chicago. Really? Yes. How, how cool is that? And they've got everything. I see kale back I there. Collars. Onions. Yeah, I want to make Love a salad onions. right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to eat. Absolutely. Um, so what's happening in Chicago today? Well, you, you, you tell me. So, uh, you know, West Englewood, Englewood, it's, it's your neighborhood my neighborhood this is, this is your hometown we, do, we are separated by west inglewood inglewood but inglewoodians call it all of inglewood but we okay. are separated by zip codes it is a it's a it's, it's a huge, huge. neighborhood it's huge. yes mm -hmm. we're uh we love each other we work together really well and i want to highlight some good chicagoans who are doing great things in Please the community do. in west inglewood pastors um pastor jonathan brooks uh, of Cannon Church, Cannon Church on 50 right off Garfield Boulevard here in West Inglewood. He just wrote a book. Uh, he's doing great things in the community. He's been a pastor for over 10 plus years. He's uh, one of the shining examples. He's also millennial. He's a millennial. Um, him and his beautiful wife are running Cannon Church, doing great things. He does so he's much. Got a great for the smile community. too. A great smile. He just recently wrote yeah. a book that I I will definitely mention it later in the show or even on our podcast. Um, who else? Who else you got in there, Rochelle? Pastor. Um, Joseph Williams and First Lady Latanya Williams of Saint uh, Greater St. John uh, MB Church in West Inglewood right off 63rd Street and Troop. They've been doing great things in the community as well. I like these pastors because they keep their doors open. They care about the community. Do you they go advise. in there, do you go there and talk? I've been to both, yes. Yeah. Love them. Has they so give you some advice? Give me advice. They're my favorite too. I love his wife. Did I love they tell First you to Lady. keep working with me? They told me to keep working with yeah. all people, spread the mm -hmm. good news, good in Chicago news. Um, he's been doing great work. He's working to build a community center. Um, Love them because they keep their church open to the community and do so much. Um, cool. I also want to mention Pastor uh, Dwayne now that's Maestro a hat. Gret. Yes, that's a hat. he calls himself the Trap Pastor. He's been doing amazing things as well in the community with his church experience. Church, his big thing was doing increase. Uh, the piece in Inglewood on 57 and Racine. He's been okay. really out in the community on the so, bullhorn, doing a lot of prayers, doing a lot okay. of street ministry. We love that. Gets we out love there, that gets out there, out there and there. hangs out with the we people. Have a lot of, you know, violence often occurs in our neighborhood, but sure, not you hear often. A lot about it. We hear a lot about it. He goes out there with his bullhorn, preaching, praying okay. on the streets, meeting the people where they are, passing out food, feeding the homeless, feeding people. 57 What's his Racine. name once again? His name is Pastor. Dwayne Grant. Dwayne Grant. Uh, Ogden Park. The Ogden Park of uh, Vikings. They, we have a beautiful park, and mm -hmm. the Ogden Park Vikings are award-winning Little League football team who's been uh, so it's proud like of them. Purple and gold? Purple and gold. These are All the right. Little League. They're doing great work. They've been um, champions. They have been a part of the Mumbo. Um, championship that's always okay. hosted usually at Soldier Field. Oh, that's cool. Uh, compete against the nice. around the state against different football teams. You like football? Right. I know you love football. I'm a, I'm a diehard so football So I always Bears support fan. them. They go to one of the favorite parks that I grew up okay. in here in Inglewood. And then, as Got I said, some future Bears on this future team. Future Bears. All right. And Ogden Park is in West Inglewood. And uh -huh. I, this is Ogden Park on okay. 67 in Racine. Tell me about Ogden Park. Ogden Park is, is so it? historical. Why is that? Um, any any reason specifically? Because I live here. It's okay. named after some famous people, some people who've been doing great work. Um, I, it, the name slips me, forgive me, but um, the entrepreneur, the leader who started this park has uh, didn't get recognition, and he was uh, a social preneur, if you will, back in like the 
1800, 1700, I need to get my facts straight. But Ogden Park is historical to the greater Inglewood community. We have parks, we have events here, we have the Inglewood Back to School Parade, we have jazz festivals, cool. nights out in the park, um, right. so much. This it's park, a big community it's gathering It's a big spot. community gathering. Nice. Um, a lot of residents come here, tennis courts, so much happens nice. here. Uh, I grew up going to this park, so yes. Now, you know my favorite Englewood resident is Who uh, Ingle, is famous Englewoodian, other than Rashana. Other than Rashana Baldwin. It, you notice his jersey I'm wearing. I see. It's Bulls. A, yeah, that's... that's D. Rose. D. Rose. D. Rose. The greatest. The, the greatest. The best yes. basketball player ever to come out of Chicago. Maybe Zeke and Mark Aguirre might have an argument, but... Um, I think Michael Jordan, you know. Well, don't sure, sure. MJ. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes. well, but, you know, he's from North Carolina. He's he's the greatest <laughs> yes, bull ever. he's the GOAT. But D. Rose was on his way to becoming the second greatest bull of yes, all time, with apologies to, to Pippen. But, <laughs> um, and so, I, so, D. Rose, he grew up, his childhood home, not far from where we are yep. right now, not, not far from growing home. Uh-huh. Yeah. He... We have so many beautiful parks here in the Inglewood community. He spent a lot of time at Murray Park, developing okay. his skills. And it's in West Inglewood. I've really? been to have that you park. Been there? I've been to that park. People go there You've a lot. You've been where D Rose was, yes. was shooting free throws shooting when he was a little throws, kid. Free throws, growing up, wow. playing. His brother was coaching him, playing with him. So yeah. Do you think he could take me there? I absolutely can. Yeah, I yes. could shoot around. Can you? Can I show you a little bit yes, of my game? Yes, I want to see if you got some skills. See if I see if I can, can do up? it. Well, <laughs> I brought a ball. I brought a uh, a money ball. Jackie Moon style uh, 70s ball here, <laughs> multicolored ball. So you want to see my yes, shot? Yes, I do. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what do you What do you think of my form? I, I think you got some, you got know. Got some work to do. Some, <laughs> yeah. I'm not quite on D Rose's uh, level. Who do we have here, Rashad? Wow, we have this young lady, Danielle Perry. She is the executive director of Growing Home, recently installed. And she is taking Growing Home, what? What are you doing? You're making, you're doing a lot of uh, things with Growing Home. Yes, I've been here exactly three months. Uh, very excited about the things we're doing. We obviously, Growing Home runs a job training program for people with barriers to employment. We help people find jobs. 86% of the people who come through our program are able to find jobs within the first 30 days. So one of the things we're doing, or I'm trying to do as a new executive director, is to increase the amount of food that we put into Inglewood. We are the only USDA certified organic farm in this entire city, mm -hmm. and it's in Inglewood, mm -hmm. and that's, that's an amazing opportunity for us to feed our community. It's organic? 100% USDA certified. Organic. Good, because I filled my pockets with kale. <laughs> That's cool. So, in Inglewood, you know, you have maybe one or two grocery stores. Yep. So, do you want me to hold it? Well, you got it? <laughs> so, we have one or two grocery stores, and here we are in the middle of Inglewood with a huge farm. You have onions, basil, kale, collards. You know, the idea that we could provide this for the families in Inglewood, I think it could really make an impact. So that's one of my number one goals is to increase the amount of food access in Inglewood. And you've got all, uh, I heard you have tomatoes, mint. Tomatoes, mint, cilantro, carrots, beets. We, we do really cool things too. Kohlrabi, Chinese eggplant. We do it all. 75 varieties of food right here. In Inglewood. And they host classes and educational stuff, correct? Workshops. We have a learning garden here where we have thousands of kids come every single day, come through K through 12, college students. We have corporate volunteers. Anybody can come out and volunteer. We have a farm stand on Thursdays where we sell our produce. You could come 11 to 3 right here in Inglewood on 58th and Wood. I absolutely love it. That it's a is fantastic thing you're Inglewood. doing here. It's it's the coolest spot. And it it's, smells uh, so yeah. good. Right? I wish we had a, yeah. sm a, a smell right. meter. I'm going <laughs> to chew on some mint just in case uh, I haven't done a breath check. I'm going to take but, some uh, kale yeah. and so, juices. Yeah. yeah. Thank enjoying you for the having us. Yeah, I absolutely. love it. Enjoy yourselves. Thank thanks you. for the t-shirt. And thank you yeah. for the bottles. Yeah, we believe everybody deserves a good job and good food. Yes, All I right. believe so. Thank everybody you. deserves a good job and good food. I absolutely. think that's a nice motto. Thank you, Danielle. She's cool. She's amazing. Yeah, Do you believe that there's things. good in Inglewood? I'm seeing it firsthand. Look at that t-shirt. Good in Inglewood. That's good cool. Inglewood. You going to make me one of those? Absolutely. All right, I'm a men's large. <laughs> good job. Well. What do you say we wrap it up? Absolutely. Let's go get on that trail. Yeah, this is, yeah, we've got, a, we got the trail right here. Maybe we there. can go home with a bag of kale and onions and 
I'm, you know, I'm maybe in. We could go shopping. Let me get some cilantro and we'll make up course. some. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is fantastic. It is. Um, so that's it for Good in Chicago. That is. I'm Brendan Greeley. I'm Rashonda Baldwin. Follow us on Facebook, Good in, Good in Chicago. Yeah, hit up our website, goodinchicago.com. You can catch us on Twitter, at Good in Chicago. Same for Instagram, at Good in Chicago. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Thank you. Uh, very nice. That was Were we supposed to record that? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> I almost said Good in Inglewood, and I heard my phone. This has been a presentation of Old Pie Productions. Tony, can you shut up? There's 2,000 bars in this city, maybe 4,000. Yeah, and all of them, I lost count, all of them seem to exist I'm on your side of the neighborhood, on your side of town. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Great I'm, economic I'm, development I'm happening over there. I'm trying to hit there. them all. I'm trying to hit them all. It's part of my life mission. <laughs> I'm still a ways away. I mean, well, I didn't hit up no. any liquor stores on my side of town, but you know. <laughs>